We are all hit by a bout of stress from time to time. Some more than others. It's a fact of life. Part of understanding how to deal with stress when it does hit us is to have an overview of the four main symptoms of stress and what they are, psychological, emotional, physical and behavioral. So let's dive in and take a look. Psychological Symptoms There are various psychological symptoms of stress. These often include not being able to concentrate because to you are distracted. This can go further by causing you to be forgetful or being so stressed it affects your ability to make rational decisions and choices. Generally you will feel down and depressed as the stress weighs on your mind. That in turn affects your mood which can lead to deeper psychological issues as your mood becomes worse and your mind races faster and faster seeking a way out of whatever is stressing you. Emotional Symptoms We mentioned mood above. Mood swings are an emotional symptom of stress. You will likely feel irritable and tense as your mood becomes worse. You may even be angry and overwhelmed as you struggle to cope. It's not a good place to be in as your emotions get out of control due to whatever is stressing you. The greater the stress the greater the effect on your emotions. It is important to recognize the emotional symptoms of stress at an early stage to recognize what is causing you stress and take stock on how to tackle it. Physical Symptoms Stress has physical symptoms too. For example a loss of appetite leading to weight loss and other associated issues such as a lowered immune system leading to more susceptibility to illness. Stress can also cause our natural bodily rhythms to go haywire. For example our bowel movements can become more or less regular. You may also experience chest pains due to increased heartbeat and even vomiting from that familiar feeling of a pit in your stomach. When the stress event has passed your body usually adapts and returns to normal. We all no doubt have some experience of the physical symptoms of stress as we know our bodies and how they react to different situations. Behavioral Symptoms Another symptom of stress is behavioral. There's some crossover here from the psychological and physical symptoms. For example we've already mentioned appetite loss. The ability to sleep soundly is one behavioral symptom of stress. Our minds are not at rest. When we go to bed our minds are racing so much with what is bothering us that we simply cannot sleep. Tossing and turning to try and find comfort and sleep to come, but it will not. Depending on how the stress is affecting you another behavioral symptom is that you may withdraw from social contact and prefer your own company as you try to deal with the situation. Here we have taken a brief look at the four main symptoms of stress and their typical characteristics. You can probably recognize all of them and how they affect you when you feel stressed. The important step to take is positive action to seek to reduce and control whatever is stressing you. Four main categories of stress. Stress. It comes to us all. Some of us are more susceptible to feeling stressed than others. There's no rule to what makes us feel stressed or how we deal with it. However one thing is for sure, stress needs to be acted on and controlled before it gets out of control. It may help you with that if you are aware of what the four main categories of stress are and their characteristics. You stress. This might sound like a contradiction, but you stress is considered to be a friendly type of stress. It's something which makes us feel good, not bad. An example of eustress may be the anticipation of competition, say a few moments before the start of a sporting even you are competing in or perhaps part of the crowd or you are otherwise inspired. It makes you feel temporarily pumped up and in the moment. You are motivated to do well and give it your all. Distress. Distress is quite the opposite to eustress. A stress event causing you to feel distressed is not going to make you feel good about yourself. A feeling of distress makes you very uncomfortable about the situation. It plays on your mind, you're not sure what to do and that drags you down further increasing your stress levels. If you can manage to deal with whatever is stressing you quickly, for example it may be a relatively minor thing and make it go away, your feeling of distress should go away with it. If not the distress may get worse and affect you for longer until the cause of distress can be managed. We have all been there during our lives. The most important thing is to do something about it and take action. 
Hyperstress. Just like the name suggests, hyperstress occurs when whatever is stressing us pushes us further than we can cope with. We all have our limits and stress levels are no exception. In the case of stress, going beyond our limits and venturing into hyperstress territory can push us towards a mental breakdown. A common cause of hyperstress is being so consumed with many tasks and responsibilities both personal and professional that the person simply cannot manage any longer and is pushed over the edge. If this is you, seek help immediately. Or ideally seek help before you get to the hyperstress stage. Hypostress. Another category of stress is hypostress. It's sort of the opposite of hyperstress. With hypostress, it can be brought on by having too little to do or be responsible for. In other words, boredom. You have nothing to do and no motivation. Hypostress may be caused for example by having a dull job which does not stretch or challenge you or not having any hobbies which keep you occupied outside work. Looking for new challenges or taking up a new hobby can help with tackling hypostress. These are the four main categories of stress. Each one can be managed to reduce their effects and reduce your stress levels. You may be interested to explore stress reduction techniques further in more depth. To do that, here is a video course containing 9 Stress Reduction Action Plan S. It is available on Skillshare and you can access it today by clicking here.